I'm here with uh, probably about 30 activists uh, to protest the continued existence of wasteful, taxpayer-wasted money that goes to cruel, uh, horrific animal experiments that exist here on OHSU's campus, all over campus, as well as at the Oregon National Primate Research Center. Our objection is that we feel very strongly that animal experiments are not only scientifically fraudulent and a waste of taxpayer money, but they are morally and ethically unjustifiable. For example, just recently uh, the animal rights organization PETA uh, uncovered documents regarding uh, one of the notorious uh, vivisector Kevin Grove that is at uh, the Oregon National Primate Research Center, one of his experiments in which he feeds pregnant monkeys extremely high fat diets which consist of mostly beef tallow and other high uh, content fat items in order to make them obese. And, uh, these impregnated obese monkeys are then um, forced to, to deliver their, their babies, usually through cesarean section, and then immediately uh, they're cut open to study the effects on the infant um, monkey's brains. Um, another uh, part of his experiment includes scaring, knowingly scaring the monkeys to see what the effects of stress and anxiety are from infants that are born to obese monkeys. He typically will send experimenters into uh, the uh, testing rooms to stare at these infant monkeys um, who get highly stressed and anxious. Uh, and, and probably the most pathetic thing that he does is that he puts Mr. Potato Head dolls inside their cages uh, to scare them because of their big eyes. Once again, this is a, a, another completely wasteful, unnecessary, cruel, and morally unjustifiable test that's taking place uh, here at OHSU. The nicotine tests still uh, take place. The name of the researcher or vivisector that uh, is responsible for these tests is Elliot Spindell. Elliot Spindell for years has spent millions of dollars on wasteful nicotine research. Uh, essentially what he does is he uh, gives very high dose amounts of nicotine through transdermal uh, mechanisms that he implants on pregnant monkeys uh, and basically poisons these monkeys uh, with high levels of nicotine only to again force them to uh, give birth to their uh, infant infants and take them away from their mothers and dissect them to find out what the effects of nicotine are. What he has found out essentially from these tests is that nicotine is bad for infant monkeys. Surprise, surprise. Uh, once again, all of the research that takes place here at OHSU and the Oregon National Primate Research Center is a complete waste of taxpayer money. Uh, from everything from um, maternal deprivation tests in which monkeys are taken away from their mothers only to find out that when that happens they become more stressed and anxious. Or nicotine research uh, tests which has found amazingly that nicotine is bad for you. Or the Kevin Grove experiment that I mentioned earlier um, that found out that monkeys born from obese mothers are more likely to be stressed or anxious. Again, this is millions of dollars every year that are wasted on completely scientifically fraudulent uh, and morally unjustifiable tests. The reason that these tests are so strongly defended by OHSU, and Jim Newman, who's actually standing right behind me um, in that uh, little uh, area right back there, um, the reason that OHSU uh, defends these tests so strongly is because of the amount of money that it brings to the university. We're talking millions, upon, tens upon tens of millions of dollars um, that help fund every little aspect of um, what happens here at OHSU. Without these tests, OHSU and the Oregon National Primate Research Center would lose a great deal of the money that they use for uh, funding other facilities on their campus. Um, and they will continue to defend them um, with all of their might. Um, but uh, groups like Portland Animal Defense League, um, In Defense of Animals, and other animal rights organizations and animal welfare organizations across the country will continue to fight them at the grassroots level. OHSU is not the only uh, place in the United States, or the world for that matter, that conducts these horrific and uh, wasteful, scientifically fraudulent tests. Um, this is a global-wide um, 
seeking of money to fund all sorts of, of uh, campuses um, and industries such as the pharmaceutical industry. And um, the people that are profiting the most off of this uh, will fight tooth and nail to keep these cruel experiments intact uh, unless we uh, at the grassroots can, can uh, fight and stop them. Animal testing is uh, completely scientifically fraudulent and the reason is is that uh, just like uh, the reason why a dog doesn't catch a cold from a human or uh, a guinea pig gets killed from uh, an injection of penicillin, humans at the molecular level uh, respond completely different to tests and pharmaceutical drugs than animals do. And uh, for the same reason that uh, many doctors now are realizing that the only way that we'll be ever be able to find an AIDS vaccine is to stop testing on animals because we have now for years had a vaccine for AIDS on animals and still not humans. In fact, a lot of vaccines that have been created for uh, humans to use have ended up killing them. Typically, people usually focus on the monkeys uh, that uh, are tested on here because of the Oregon National Primate Research Center, which houses over 4,000 different uh, um, uh, monkeys. Uh, but mice, rats, cats, dogs, bunnies, all kinds of mammals are tested here um, and are equally treated in a horrific and cruel manner. When people find out what's really going on behind closed doors, um, and I'll note that OHSU hates that we are standing here right now. Uh, publicity is the last thing that a uh, university campus like OHSU wants. The last thing that they want is for people to find out what uh, kind of nicotine, maternal deprivation, or uh, alcohol testing exists because when people find out the inherent cruelty that's involved in these tests, as well as the wasteful spending, taxpayer spending, that uh, exists because of these tests, they are sick and just like we are. And uh, slowly but surely our numbers are growing and uh, we believe that one day we will be able to, to stop this horrific uh, uh, field.